Hello guys, uh, this is the solution for the exercise which hopefully you did in uh, the guidebook that was attached to the lesson. Now here we will create a new project uh, using codename 1 and run it. Just the very basic project. So I'm going to start specifically in NetBeans but everything you see here should work pretty much exactly the same in Eclipse. So I'm creating a new project and I'm selecting a codename one project as my target. Clicking next. And I need to pick a name for my project. So I'm going to put it in my temporary directory because this is just an exercise. And I'm going to call this Hi World like this. So this is just the project name. And this is more important. Here I need to give uh, to select the basic settings for the project. So I'm going to use the native theme in terms of the look and I'm going to use the hello world uh, visual UI. If you're using Eclipse, you'll have a combo box based, not, not something as pretty as this, but still. Now, this is an important section to notice. Uh, the package name is something you really can't change la later and you need, and it identifies your application in the store. So it's really important that this is the right name, the, the domain that you own. So for instance, we're specifically codename one, but this might be confusing to you. So say I have a company called VPRIZE and this is um, my one of my apps and it's uh, a hello app. Now, this is important because otherwise, when I want to send an update or someone else might grab this name, so these uniquely identify you when you submit to the store, and this must be identical, and it's a bit difficult to change it if you create the project with a different name. It's possible, it's just you need to change it in several locations, so get it right, ideally. You can change it, though, uh, and I'll call this high app which is actually the name of your final application and the name of your main class which uh, is very useful and I'm going to create a visual agreeable application this is a manual which you do a uh, manual application with, which you create with code uh, we'll do this near the end of the course it's more advanced if uh, you choose to work that way and we'll discuss this I press finish and it takes a while to generate the project because it actually generates the theme resource file specifically for your application. So it just takes a few uh, 30 seconds or so to actually build the project for you. And once it's built, it will automatically appear in your project listing here or in Eclipse. So it's opening for it for me now. And here it is, we can actually see the application right here. And I can expand it and you can see the files within the application, which we will discuss uh, when we go over the generated code later on and how, how this exactly works. So, and if you'll actually look. So now I can just run the application. And it will open up the simulator as you can see. Now, I didn't show it in the previous uh, section, but it's really important. The Codename One simulator allows you to test your applications on uh, devices. In this case, I've set it up as a Blackberry previously. Let's show it running on the iPhone, which is probably more interesting to most of you. Uh, and as you can see, the same application running on the iPhone, I didn't need to run it over again, just switch the simulator and you can see uh, the actual application. You can uh, rotate the device, you can do all sorts of other cool things with it uh, to get a sense of how, uh, how it works. You can also zoom to different levels. Uh, there's two modes, a scrollable mode and a non-scrollable mode. Very interesting, you can have uh, the skin scalable. So, for instance, I could stretch it like this, or I can work in a scrollable mode where it isn't stretchable. So, that's generally it. Uh, you can build the native application 
by right clicking here and sending uh, the build. We'll talk about that in the upcoming section. Thank you.